Anatomical Terms of Bone, Wikipedia Article Audio Many anatomical terms descriptive of bone are defined in anatomical terminology, and are often derived from Greek and Latin. A long bone is one that is cylindrical in shape, being longer than it is wide. However, the term describes the shape of a bone, not its size, which is relative. Long bones are found in the arms and legs, as well as in the fingers and toes. Long bones function as levers, they move when muscles contract. They are responsible for the body's height. Types of bone Long bones A short bone is one that is cube-like in shape, being approximately equal in length, width, and thickness. The only short bones in the human skeleton are in the carpals of the wrists and the tarsals of the ankles. Short bones provide stability and support as well as some limited motion. The term flat bone is something of a misnomer because, although a flat bone is typically thin, it is also often curved. Examples include the cranial bones, the scapulae, the sternum, and the ribs. Flat bones serve as points of attachment for muscles and often protect internal organs. Flat bones do not have a metallary cavity because they are thin. An irregular bone is one that does not have an easily classified shape and defies description. These bones tend to have more complex shapes, like the vertebrae that support the spinal cord and protect it from compressive forces. Many facial bones, particularly the ones containing sinuses, are classified as irregular bones. A sesamoid bone is a small, round bone that, as the name suggests, is shaped like a sesame seed. These bones form in tendons where a great deal of pressure is generated in a joint. The sesamoid bones protect tendons by helping them overcome compressive forces. Sesamoid bones vary in number and placement from person to person but are typically found in tendons associated with the feet, hands, and knees. The only type of sesamoid bone that is common to everybody is the kneecap which is also the largest of the sesamoid bones. A condyle is the round prominence at the end of a bone, most often part of a joint and articulation with another bone. The epicondyle refers to a projection near a condyle, particularly the medial epicondyle of the humerus. These terms derive from Greek. Short bones An eminence refers to a relatively small projection or bump, particularly of bone, such as the medial eminence. A process refers to a relatively large projection or prominent bump as does a promontory such as the sacral promontory. Flat bones Both tubercle and tuberosity refer to a projection or bump with a roughened surface, with a tubercle generally smaller than a tuberosity. These terms are derived from tuber. A ramus refers to an extension of bone, such as the ramus of the mandible in the jaw or superior pubic ramus. Ramus may also be used to refer to nerves, such as the ramus commune icons. A facet refers to a small, flattened articular surface. Irregular bones A line refers to a long, thin projection, often with a rough surface. Sesamoid bones Ridge and crest refer to a long, narrow line. Unlike many words used to describe anatomical terms, the word ridge is derived from Old English. Protrusions A spine, as well as referring to the spinal cord, may be used to describe a relatively long, thin projection or bump. These terms are used to describe bony protuberances in specific parts of the body. Rounded 
the malleolus is the bony prominence on each side of the ankle. These are known as the medial and lateral malleolus. Each leg is supported by two bones, the tibia on the inner side of the leg and the fibula on the outer side of the leg. The medial malleolus is the prominence on the inner side of the ankle, formed by the lower end of the tibia. The lateral malleolus is the prominence on the outer side of the ankle, formed by the lower end of the fibula. The trochanters are parts of the femur, to which muscles attach. It may refer to the greater, lesser, or third trochanter. The following terms are used to describe cavities that connect to other areas. A foramen is any opening, particularly referring to those in bone. Foramina inside the body of humans and other animals typically allow muscles, nerves, arteries, veins, or other structures to connect one part of the body with another. A canal is a long, tunnel-like foramen, usually a passage for notable nerves or blood vessels. Pointed the following terms are used to describe cavities that do not connect to other areas. Special A fossa is a depression or hollow, usually in a bone, such as the hypophyseal fossa, the depression in the sphenoid bone. Articular process, referring to a projection that contacts an adjacent bone, suture, referring to an articulation between cranial bones. Amiatus is a short canal that opens to another part of the body. A fovea is a small pit, usually on the head of a bone. The most well-known example of a fovea is the fovea centralis, a depression in the retina of the eye. The following terms are used to describe the walls of a cavity. Cavities Openings Blind-ended Walls A labyrinth refers to the bony labyrinth and membranous labyrinth, components of the inner ear, due to their fine and complex structure. A sinus refers to a bony cavity, usually within the skull. A joint, or articulation is the region where adjacent bones contact each other for example the elbow, shoulder, or costovertebral joint. Terms that refer to joints include Bones are commonly described with the terms head, neck, shaft, body, and base. The head of a bone usually refers to the proximal end of the bone. The shaft refers to the elongated sections of long bone, and the neck the segment between the head and shaft. The end of the long bone opposite to the head is known as the base. The cortex of a bone is used to refer to its outer layers, and medulla used to refer to the inner surface of the bone. Red marrow, in which blood is formed is present in spongy bone as well as in the medullary cavity, while the fatty yellow marrow is present primarily in the medullary cavity. This Wikipedia entry incorporates text from the freely licensed Connections edition of Anatomy and Physiology textbook by OpenStax College. Joints Features of long bones Gross features Internal regions Internal and external Notes